Just when Timote Chalamet got the last bit of sand out of his hair, he's going back to the desert. Dune, Denis Villeneuve's sweeping adaptation of the 1965 science fiction novel by Frank Herbert, is officially getting a sequel. I just received news from Legendary that we are officially moving forward with Dune. Part 2, Villeneuve said in a statement in October 2021, according to The Hollywood Reporter. It was a dream of mine to adapt Frank Herbert's Dune, and I have the fans, the cast and crew, Legendary and Warner Brothers to thank for supporting this dream. This is only the beginning. With Dune, Part 2 solidly in place, it's time we check in on this upcoming sand-based film. Menu. Subscribe. Trailer mix updated 12.54 p.m. Everything we know about how Dune 2 is doing. By Rebecca Alter, a news writer who covers comedy and pop culture. He gets to marry Florence Pugh and be soulmates with Zendaya. Photo. Nico Tavernize. Just when Timote Chalamet got the last bit of sand out of his hair, he's going back to the desert. Dune. Denis Villeneuve's sweeping adaptation of the 1965 science fiction novel by Frank Herbert, is officially getting a sequel. I just received news from Legendary that we are officially moving forward with Dune. Part 2, Villeneuve said in a statement in October 2021, according to The Hollywood Reporter. It was a dream of mine to adapt Frank Herbert's Dune, and I have the fans, the cast and crew, Legendary and Warner Brothers to thank for supporting this dream. This is only the beginning. With Dune, Part 2 solidly in place, it's time we check in on this upcoming sand-based film. Below is what we know about Dune, Part 2. Timote Chalamet goes sandworm riding in the first trailer. Chalamet rides a big worm to impress Zendaya's Chani in the first trailer for Dune 2. The rightful heir to House Atreides is stuck on the planet of Arrakis while the rest of the universe thinks he's dead, so Javier Bardem's character gives him some tips on how to ride the sandworm. Elsewhere, Florence Pugh's Princess Irulan plots, and Austin Butler's Fade Rotha Harkonnen fights in an arena, bald from the eyebrows up. In the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets, Princess Irulan says. But the darkest of all will remain the end of House Atreides. It's not so dark, though. By the end of the trailer, Paul Atreides masters, Sandback, riding and gets to kiss Chani. Who's in Part 2? If you watched Dune, Part 1, you may remember that the majority of the characters are, in fact, dead. Oscar Isaac, Jason Momoa, and Sharon Duncan Brewster are all dead by gas, combat, and sandworm, respectively. So Villeneuve has padded Dune, part 2 with some pretty well-known names. Chalamet, Bardem, Zendaya, and Rebecca Ferguson will all be returning, of course. But they've added Q, Butler, Leia Sadu, and Christopher Walken to their band of science fiction sisters. Walken will be playing Shadam IV, the Emperor of House Carino, Hugh will be playing his daughter, Princess Irulan, Sadu will be Lady Margot, who is one of the Emperor's friends and a member of iconic queens the Bene Gesserit, and Butler will be Fade Rotha Harkonnen, the nephew of Stellan Skargard's Baron Harkonnen. Finally, Tim Blake Nelson will play an as yet unnamed character. It's a veritable who's who of talent across generational divides. What's the plot? Dune. Part 2 will take on the second half of Frank Herbert's original epic sci-fi novel. The first film left clairvoyant boy King Paul Atreides, little Timmy Tim, and his mother, Ferguson, as they joined the Freeman. Luckily, this means that we'll have more than seven minutes with Zendaya's Freeman character, Chani. Further plot and character details were revealed at CinemaCon on April 25th. She's not just in dreams this time, Zendaya said about Chani's larger role in the second film. In Part 1, I only got a small time to find out who she was. These are still two young people who are trying to grow up, fall in love, and leave being a warrior for your people. Villeneuve described the sequel as an, action-packed, epic war movie, as opposed to the first film, which was, more of a contemplative movie. He elaborated, it is much more dense. We went to all new locations. I didn't want a feeling of repetition. It's all new sets. Everything is new. The film was shot entirely in IMAX, he revealed. The Dune 2 trailer that premiered at CinemaCon featured Atreides' first ride on a sandworm as well as clips of Q as Princess Irulan Carino and Butler as the, psychotic, Fade Rotha, a fan-made image of Butler as the character made the rounds on Twitter earlier today, but it's unfortunately not real. A fight scene between Fade and Paul features in the trailer. We really see Paul Atreides become a leader, Chalamet said of his character. A redeemer of the Freeman people in a sense.